Welcome, my dear university students and others, to Chapter 5's continuing coverage of thermochemistry. In this video, I'll teach you calorimetry. So, calorimetry is the discipline of measuring how much heat is produced by different chemical reactions. Devices used to measure this are called calorimeters, and sometimes bomb calorimeters if they involve explosions or something. Here's how a bomb calorimeter works. We take a cup, usually a styrofoam cup or a cup made of some other insulating material, and put some water into it. We then insert that cup into another cup, just to insulate it even more. We then top that all off so it's sealed as much as possible, isolated from the external environment, and insert a thermometer in there. We then conduct a chemical reaction and measure the temperature change. So this is my rough, very simplistic drawing of a bomb calorimeter. Now, in an earlier video linked to in the description below, as well as floating over my head here somewhere, we learned that in a constant pressure system, delta H or change in enthalpy is equal to Q, heat, or as I like to call it, Queet. Calorimeters help us to measure the delta H or change in enthalpy for specific reactions by measuring the heat or Q that those reactions produce. This takes us to an example lecture question. Would you expect the measured temperature to go up or down for an exothermic reaction? And what about an endothermic reaction? All right, here's the answer. As you should know from earlier videos linked to in the description below and floating over my head here, an exothermic reaction is one that produces heat, so it kicks heat out of the reaction as the reaction transpires. This means that if you had an exothermic reaction going in here, it would be producing heat and kicking heat off as a product. This means that the temperature for an exothermic reaction, as you measured it in a bomb calorimeter, would go up. Now, the opposite is true of an endothermic reaction. That is a reaction that consumes or sucks heat into itself as the reaction transpires, so it feels cold around it. Hence, as you measured it, its temperature would go down. Now, again, because delta H or change in enthalpy is equal to Q for constant pressure systems, a negative delta H or negative Q means an exothermic reaction, while a positive delta H or positive Q means an endothermic reaction. Fair enough? Now, as we discussed in an earlier chapter, again linked to in the description below and floating over my head here, I think, combustion reactions have the general formulas shown here, where you take a hydrocarbon, react it with O2, oxygen gas, to form the exact same products every time, CO2 and H2O. Also, you can take an alcohol, which has this general formula, and react it the same. Produces the exact same products. These are combustion reactions. With that in mind, these reactions are often studied calorimetrically, that is, in a bomb calorimeter, flushed with excess oxygen, in order to measure the amount of heat they produce. For a great video on this subject, I invite you to check out this link, linked to in the description below, as well as floating over my head somewhere over this video. As per usual, I'm not going to show it here because I don't own it, and I don't want to get sued.